Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and thank you for joining me in my video today which is sharing with you my May sewing plans. So I have three sewing plans to share and I am happy to say that um, they will all be up for a vote as to which one of them you would like to see as a sew along. So if you're familiar with my sew alongs, you'll kind of know how the format goes. Um, but for anyone that isn't sure, I will explain towards the end of the video how you can vote for which of these projects you would like to see as a sew along. I do have my first sew along of the year as I had my little break and um, it's coming out on the 1st of May. So it means that this sew along will be either towards the end of May or maybe sort of beginning of June time. I haven't quite decided. I'm still kind of getting back into the swing of it all um, but yeah I just thought you'd like to know that yes you can vote for so long this time <laughs> so before I get started as to um, my plans I'll just let you know quickly what I'm wearing this is the sew over it uh, molly top from their ebook um, city break I think it was and uh, yeah this is just a really nice t-shirt that I like to make up in a viscose jersey which this fabric is um, so yes, one of my favourite t-shirts. I love this um, pink sort of floral print. Okay, so where should I start? Um, let's start off actually with um, a pattern which was actually very kindly given to me um, by the um, pattern company. So I was contacted by the lovely um, team at Forget Me Not Patterns and they were saying that they had a new blouse pattern um, coming out and would I be interested in making it up, you know, ready for like their sort of like release um, date, you know, being sort of almost like a bit of a pattern tester. And I said, thank you so much for the offer, but unfortunately just due to sort of other commitments that I had, I wouldn't be able to kind of make um, the, the sort of the deadline. But I did say that I thought the blouse looked really pretty, might actually be one that I'd be interested in purchasing once it's released. And they actually came back to me to kind of say, well, you know, did you want to have a copy of the pattern for free? Um, and, you know, just once you've made it up, it'd be really nice to uh, maybe share it on your channel um, or Instagram. And so I said, oh, that would be lovely. So it was really, really nice of them to give me this pattern for free. Um, and as you know, I share everything that I make um, on my YouTube and Instagram anyway. So win, win. <laughs> um, so this is the Helmy blouse. So I've printed out the little um, instruction booklet um, here. But I really did like the look of this blouse because um, it's got these sort of uh, slightly sort of balloon sleeves it's got a really nice sort of loose fit I do like a blouse that isn't too fitted but has a bit of shape and I'll, I'll explain a bit more about it um, so you can see here it does have um, bust starts and um, it has an option for this lovely Peter Pan sort of style collar or this one I do like the look of as well it's like this little tie front and you can add these options with like this sort of ruffle around the neckline or the ruffle around the shoulder. It's got a very gentle um, curve around the waist. And if I show you the line drawing at the back, so I'll find the back. <laughs> so um, yeah, we have these little fisheye darts at the back. So that's why I quite like the look of the blouse is because it has got that sort of relaxed look but it has the bust darts and the fisheye darts at the back, which means it has a bit of shape. So out of the two options, I'm thinking for me, I think I'm going to go for this one here. Just because, I mean, I do like the Peter Pan collar, but I do like the look of this little tie. Um, what I think I might do though, is I don't think I'm gonna put on the little sleeve um, ruffly bits. I'm just thinking for me, I'm not sure if that's 100% what I would want to do because I have got um, uh, a dress actually with those sort of sleeve ruffles. It's actually the uh, the Friday Pattern Company Davenport with the little ruffles. And I just kind of find that, I don't know, maybe because I've got quite wide shoulders anyway, that it kind of accentuates that. So I think I'm going to leave those off. And I'm thinking I might keep the little... Uh, neck ruffle on just because I think that's a really nice little detail and I do like the tie so yes I think I'm going to go for this version 
So um, the blouse takes about 2.2 meters, I think, for my size. Um, so I had a look through my fabric stash to see which one would be suitable. And um, you'll notice a bit of a theme <laughs> with my fabric choices um, this month. So this is a fabric from So Haley Jane. And this is a really nice soft viscose. I thought a viscose would be the best option for this blouse. I mean, you could make it in, you know, like a cotton or like a viscose linen mix or something like that if you wanted to. But I wanted something that was quite sort of soft and floaty, especially because the sleeves are, you know, that sort of like balloon sleeve. I wanted them to be a bit uh, floaty. And this um, lovely viscose, um, as I say, I got it in a Sir Holy Jane box and I thought it would be perfect for this blouse because number one, it's two of my favourite colour combinations, uh, blue and orange, and it's got these lovely flowers and there's like these hints of cream going on in there as well. And I just thought that this would make a really nice blouse because probably from a distance you can see there, it's kind of got this sort of ditzy um, print so it would mean that like the ruffle around the collar and the darts and the you know fisheye darts at the back it wouldn't like distort um, any sort of like big pattern placements or or anything like that and I thought it would go really nicely with smart trousers as well as jeans being this sort of colour combo so I thought that would be a really, really nice option. So I've got two and a half metres um, of this fabric. So absolutely plenty um, to play with, because as I say, the Helmy blouse requires at 2.2 metres. So I thought that would be a really, really nice option. And as I say, it's a really nice, soft, viscose. So I think that will make a beautiful, beautiful blouse. So that is my first plan. Okay, so my next plan is something that I've picked from my Make Nine grid. So I'm very aware we're you know approaching May. I have made a couple of bits from my Make Nine, but um, I was kind of just having a look for you know what did I fancy making, and I thought I'll have a look at my Make Nine grid, and this pattern popped out at me as being one to make, <laughs> and it is the Butterick uh, B6679. And if you'd seen my Make Nine um, video, then you'll know that the version I wanted to make was this version here. So um, all of these have this lovely sort of tie, um, like knot going on um, at the bust. Uh, this is a sort of a slightly straighter fit skirt, and this one is more of a flowy skirt, and that's the one that I want to do just because, yeah, for me, I want it to be um, nice and flowy in the summer. If I turn it round, you can see the line drawing there. Um, so again, you can see that this one is the flowier skirt. It's got this like waist uh, panel there. And then where the uh, knot is, you can almost kind of see that it's kind of split into like two sort of sections to kind of create that knot. So I am quite interested to see how that is put together. I'm pretty sure with um, the instructions, they're probably not going to be the easiest to understand, um, just from experience. Um, but yeah, I thought it would be um, a really fun challenge to see whether I can um, do that. Uh, so yes, I thought that would be a really, really nice option. Now fabric uh, lengths for this, I think I needed, I think it says on here, I need about 2.3 meters for um, the dress. Um, but I don't have 2.3, but I do have fabric where I've got two metres. So I'm hoping I will be all right with it. <laughs> we will soon see. Um, and the fabric that I've picked, um, so this is a jersey pattern, I think I've got to say. Um, so the fabric I've picked is this one. <laughs> so as I mentioned, there's a bit of a colour theme going on with my fabrics. <laughs> so um, this I love because I think it's really sort of retro kind of looking and I love the blues and the oranges that kind of go through the fabric. I got this from Pound Fabrics um, quite a while back and it was with the intention of making a really nice summer dress and so I thought this would be lovely in this dress um, because it's quite a busy print as well again I thought because of the knot detail and um, it wouldn't like distort too much 
because it is such a busy print and yeah it just for me absolutely screams summer with all those flowers on there so i've got two meters um as i say the pattern does say 2.3 meters that you need but i'm sure that i can work something out i'm sure it'd be fine <laughs> also it does say um on here that the bodice is lined as well so what i will do is i do have just some like maybe plain black um, in my stash like fabric um, like black jersey which I'll probably use as a lining because the background of this is black um, but I just think it just makes the the flowers really really pop and I think it would make a beautiful beautiful dress so again very very excited um, to make that one I think that would be such a lovely dress to wear in summer being jersey as well it's just going to be so nice and easy to wear I mean, don't be wrong, I love a viscose dress, but you know, a jersey dress is just, you know, something you can just shove on um, and it's just really, really cozy. <laughs> so yeah, that's my second plan. And then my third plan is, um, I've been seeing versions of this dress absolutely everywhere and I am desperate to make this dress. So it is the Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress. So this is the new um, dress from or pattern um, from Tilly and the Buttons. And if you'd seen when I went to the Stitch Festival up in London, um, I bought this pattern from the lovely Tilly herself. Um, and I did actually get some fabric uh, to go with this dress, which I'll share with you in a moment. So the pattern, you can make a, a little top version, you can make um, a dress version, and you can do a sort of either of these sleeves. So the version I want to make is obviously the dress, but I want to do the short sleeve on it. If I turn the pattern around, it's actually this version here. <laughs> uh, so that is the version I want to make where it's the dress, but with the shorter sleeve. Now you notice on here, this is the like the line drawings, you can see that there is um, shirring. There's shirring at the waist and also on the sleeves. So lower on if you want to do the long sleeve or you know, slightly higher up for the short sleeve. But I thought that would be a lovely, lovely dress. Now I've never done shirring before and probably one of the main reasons I wanted to buy um, this pattern was because I wanted Tilly's hand holding instructions. Um, she's well known for doing great instructions so I thought for my first time doing shirring that um, it'd be good for uh, Tilly to uh, teach me <laughs> through her um, instructions. So I'm really really excited to make that say new skill for me with uh, with shirring and um, yeah I just I really like the look of this dress. I think probably what I like most about it is this neckline. I think it's so pretty. Again, if I turn it round um, a little bit so you can maybe see on the um, on the line drawings, it's got like elasticated um, tops here, and then it's like pulled together with like a drawstring at the front, just creating this gorgeous, gorgeous shape. I don't know quite what the right sort of term is, whether it's kind of like a sort of milkmaid uh, or peasant type um, sort of top there. But yeah, it's just so, so pretty. And I've seen so many beautiful versions uh, like flying around Instagram that I, I just want to make it up. And if I can, I want to try and make this one up early because um, I've got a friend's wedding that I'm going to. I'm going part of their like to their evening reception. And I thought this would actually be a really nice dress to wear for at the evening reception because it's quite a nice uh, sort of like casual um, wedding. So I thought that would be a really nice idea. So for the fabric um, requirements on this, I think this one says that you need uh, 2.8 metres and I have three metres of my fabric, so I've got plenty to play with. And the fabric that I'm going to use was a fabric that I picked up from Little Miss So-and-So at the Stitch Festival. Um, I saw this fabric um, that uh, my lovely friend Claire from uh, Stitch Hem Sew um she picked some up and when I saw hers I was like that is a really nice fabric and when we went to the little miss so-and-so stand uh, I was like oh can I just copy you and can I get the same fabric <laughs> it's so pretty and it is this again 
it's the blue and the oranges. <laughs> I just, I really, really want to use this fabric. It's so, so pretty. And um, it's on this black background. So again, sort of similar again with the theme of like the blue and the oranges. I just think this would make the most beautiful uh, Mabel. I think it'd be absolutely lovely again because it's quite ditzy um like the um the print and being quite busy the shirring kind of shouldn't um distort too much you know from any sort of like large print or anything and i think this would be lovely to wear for um my friend's sort of like wedding like evening and um yeah just for general like sort of summer time because i i do want to try and get myself prepared for summer I like to try and make things you know a little bit before the time at the moment it's not that warm but I'm anticipating hopefully in about a month's time it's gonna be nice and warm and um dress weather <laughs> fingers crossed anyway <laughs> um so yeah this is such a lovely lovely fabric really nice and soft I think it's black background the more I'm looking at it actually it might actually be just a really really dark navy not 100%, maybe it is like a really, really dark navy now that I've caught it in the light. Possibly. Yeah, it's just a beautiful, beautiful fabric and I cannot wait to make that. So that is my third plan. So which one would you like to see as a summer long? I will do a very, very quick recap. So we had the uh, Forget Me Not Patterns Hell Me Blouse in the uh, So Hayley Jane Viscose. Second plan was the Butterick B6679 in the Pound Fabrics um, cotton jersey. Or it was the Tilling the Buttons Mabel dress in the Little Miss So-and-So viscose. So those were my three plans. So if you'd like to vote for which one you would like to see as the sew along, what you'd need to do is go to my YouTube homepage and if you click on the community tab, you will see there that there is a vote for which one you would like to see as a sew along. You just simply need to pick which one you would like to see. Now, I do know that some people, if viewing on a tablet, have told me in the past that they can't always see the community tab. Don't know why that is. It's a weird YouTube thing. Don't know whether it's been fixed since last time. But if you can't see it, then um, I'm very sorry. You'll just have to either log on to your phone or onto your computer um, to be able to um, vote that way. Um, it's just easier for me to be able to put it all in one place so that I can just literally see which one is the winner. I can't do it across, you know, like comments, Instagram and, and all of that. So um, I hope you understand. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see which one you vote for as being the so along. Please do let me know in the comments which one you might be voting for or any ones that you're sort of interested in. If you've made any of the patterns, even though I know a couple of those are brand new patterns, I'd love to know any hints and tips. Um, yeah, it'd be absolutely amazing. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, it would be lovely if you could. Uh, if you are a subscriber, hopefully the um, so along vote will just automatically come up in your feed anyway, if you're subscribed to me, and then you'll also um, be kept up to date as to when the so along will be released. So take care everybody, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye.